Right, ready. Samuel Gill for Riders Hub here again with head, head coach of the Leicester Riders, Rob Paternostro. It's been a while, Rob, uh, of course, last night, an 82-70 win over the, over the Cheshire Phoenix. Really good down the stretch, of course. 67-60 uh, at the end of the third quarter, but then you but then you came up clutch in the end. Talk to us about it. Yeah, it was a tough game. I think that um, they've been playing good basketball. They had a lot of time off too, and so they were, you know, pretty healthy coming into the game. So uh, we knew it was going to be tough, and it was back and forth pretty much all the way until the end of the third. They got out in front a little bit. Mm. A little disappointing end to the third quarter for us, but you know we talked about going into the fourth and playing defense and making everything difficult. I thought we did that. You know, when you watch it back on video, you see the intensity, the effort, and that really turned the game around. It was a, an incredible uh, team performance, incredible effort from the group. And um, yeah, heck of a win for us, especially with uh, Gino Crandall not playing. And, and of course, restricting them to only three points in the final quarter. It, it, it must, must be great for you as a coach to see that kind of display. Yeah, I think that's you know, all credit to our conditioning as well. I thought that uh, you know the, the guys here, um, the strength and conditioning team with Jordan Goffin and stuff, these guys do a good job with them. And we thought we were fresher in the fourth quarter, and um, we thought that was important. And to have an effort like that in a defensive end in the fourth quarter uh, in late March, you've got to be in good condition, and I thought we were. So you said about Gino. What 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 is the uh, status update on Gino? How how is he doing? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's waiting to see um, a little bit more. We'll do a few more tests. So um, yeah. you know, we're optimistic that um, we'll see him again, uh, but we don't know when. And I think that um, the challenge now is to uh, continue to find ways to win without him. Uh, and there's no question that he's up there in the MVP talking to me. Uh, an incredible player this year. Incredible player for us. Great leader. So uh, it's an adjustment for us to play without him. But um, you know, these guys did a good job last night of finding a different way to win. And I think that's going to be important going forward that um, you know, we continue to do so. Also, of course, you've had, you've, had, uh, you've had Mo Walker come back into the group as well as of late. And he's been recovering all season. Is it, is it good to see him back in the team, albeit, of course, not on court yet? Yeah, he's uh, done a good job getting back to where he's at. And, you know, we still have a few more you know, five on fives in practice to go with him, and, but he's close and um, you know, we'll see. You gotta make sure he's ready. Uh, you know, we're, we're, nobody's pushing it too fast. Uh, yeah. We just wanna make sure he's ready, but for him to be, you know, back on the floor competing with, uh, with the guys is, uh, is great to see. 18 and three now in the league, 12 points clear. Of course, going going into the final stretch, you've got you've you've got you've got to kind of just not take the foot off the gas now and keep up the momentum going into the nine games left, the latter, latter half of the season. Oh yeah, like, uh, listen, uh, Every game's tough. I think we know that in the BBL. I think you look around and you look at the, the games coming up, and you know, you know, you got tough ones coming. So it's one uh, step at a time. Uh, I told the guys today it'll go by fast, though. I said so. Uh, don't uh, take it for granted. Uh, keep pushing, and uh, yeah, I think that uh, you have to do whatever it takes to win at this point in the season. Starting with Bristol Fires, talk, talk, just quickly talk to us about that. The two games coming up, back to back, both home and away. Yeah, it's always tricky when you play back to back like that. Um, Teams will know each other really well by the time we get to Tuesday. Yeah. Um, tough place to play down there, you know, when they have all those fans, but you know, still their home court, so with no fans. Um, but yeah, they're a physical team. When you look at the stats, you see they're all over the offensive glass. You know, first in the league at offensive rebounds. You know, they got a lot of athletic, strong guys, so we'll have to do good in that department. Um, we haven't seen them in a long time, so um, it's going to be important as we enter this game. We um, you know, have a good scouting report on them and um, you know, make sure we know what their tendencies are. And should be a tough one, should be a good one to watch. Thank you very much for your time, Rob. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you.